We've discussed this over the week, haven't we? But it was made official today. Ferran Torres is a Barcelona player. Images here of his first training session uh, under Xavi since making that big money move away from Manchester City. Mark and Nadam still with us. Uh, Nadam, what went wrong for him at City? Um, I think that's a, that's a good question. I think you look at him, he's, I think he's 21 years of age and he arrived a year and a bit ago. He basically arrived at the height of the pandemic in terms of trying to settle in at a new club in a new country. I'm sure it was quite tough for him, especially given the fact that, you know, he wasn't a regular starter within the side. So I think in some ways he probably didn't have the best environment to be able to flourish. But I think when it comes down to it, as uh, Pep was alluding to, I think if any player wants to leave, it seems like City are the, the club who will allow somebody to leave. So it didn't work out for him at all, but he had glimpses where he could see he could be quite good. But at the end of the day, people wanted to see him play. But then you'd always say, well, is it at the expense of Sterling? Is it at the expense of Foden? Is it Mares? Is it Gabriel Jesus? And you know, the more names you start mentioning, the more you start realizing he's probably further down the pecking order than you know he'd pr probably would have liked himself. So it's a shame he didn't work out. But as I say, I think he showed glimpses, and it'd be interesting to see how he does for Barcelona because you know, as as Americans would say, there's somewhat of a dumpster fire at the minute. But perhaps he could uh, be the springboard to get them going in the right direction. Look at it, Mark. It's good business for City. Well, they made a 20 million profit on a player they just won in from Valencia 18 months ago who didn't feature that much. Could they then use that money in this January transfer window? They could do, but I don't think they will, to be honest. I, th I think they're quite happy with what they've got. And it's amazing, really, because Torres was used by Pep you know, as a central striker at times this season because obviously they didn't get Harry Kane and they obviously didn't miss out Ronaldo as well. And, you know, but they're happy to move another forward on, so they still don't have a striker, and but they're letting him go. But I don't think City look to invest. I don't think it's what they do. I think I think City look at the, the January window as a as a as a time when less well run clubs panic by. I think City are quite happy with what they've got, and I think they'll just just bank the money and wait until the summer. But it's it's a surprise. I thought they could have persevered with them a, a little bit longer. I thought he had a, a talent there, but you know, if you're if you're a Spanish kid and Barcelona come knocking on your door, it's really hard to turn it down. And you know, City made a profit a big profit so it's probably a good move for all parties thanks so much for watching espn on youtube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the espn app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to espn plus